let's continue our discussion on common dimensionality reduction techniques. By the end of this topic, you will be able to explain and implement the missing value ratio technique. Let's understand the missing value ratio technique of dimensionality reduction. For this, we will use a modified dataset nanhousingprices.csv, which you can download from the helper text below. This dataset was primarily made to demonstrate the concept of missing value ratio. On printing the first five rows of the dataset, we can clearly see that there are some NAN values present in the columns number of times visited, basement area, and years since renovation. Let's find out the total number of missing values in the dataset. Before we start the process of eliminating the columns based on missing values, we should first look at how to calculate the missing value ratio. This missing value ratio can be defined as ratio of number of missing values and the total number of observations. Considering the fact that we have 28 independent variables which do not have any missing values and have a reasonably large number of observations. We can set the threshold missing value ratio to be 0.70 that any independent variable with missing value ratio of up to 0.7 can be estimated using the other columns while the variables with this ratio greater than 0.7 will be dropped. You might be wondering why 0.7. Note that deciding a threshold for the missing value ratio is a very subjective topic which may depend on many factors like the nature of the problem, the size of the data set and personal preference. Here we have taken it to be 0.7 just for demo purposes. On running data.isNull.sum function, we can see the total number of missing values in all of the columns of the data. We can see that there are three columns with substantial missing values in them. We can check the columns one by one for the missing value ratio and remove them. But when we have many columns with missing values, then eliminating them one by one can be a cumbersome process. So let's automate this process. For this, we will simply run a loop across the column names. And for each column, we will calculate the missing value ratio using the formula which we saw a little while ago and store this missing value ratio in a variable called TMP. Now we will compare whether the missing value ratio is greater than 0.7 or not. If the TMP is greater than 0.7, we will eliminate the column from the data and print the message indicating the removal of that column. So let's run this cell. In the output, we can clearly see that the columns removed had the missing value ratio over 0.7. So that was it in the dimensional reduction using the missing value ratio. In the next video, we will discuss low variance removal technique of dimensionality reduction.